After weeks of being evasive, CBN governors appear before the House of Reps Committee. Senate Committee on Public Accounts wants the Ministry of Communications to give an account of 13.9 billion naira collected for service-wide votes between 2017 to 2021. And later in the program... Uh, businesses are granted and uh, nothing is happening. You enter any bank now, you cannot transact any business. The queues at the ATM, I don't know how to describe it, it's very, very painful. A member representing ESACO Federal Constituency in Edo State gives us an insight into the meeting between the CBN Governor and the House of Reps Adder Committee. This is the Hala Chambers on TVC News. I am Tijesu Adiri. The Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria met with members of the House of Representatives to explain the Naira design policy and also assure Nigerians that they will not lose their money even after the February 17 deadline. My colleague Joke Adisa tells us more about the outcome of the meeting. After last week's threat of arrest, CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele is before the lawmakers to respond to their inquiries. House leader and chairman of the committee, Adodogua, kickstarts the business of the day. He seeks to know reasons behind the CBN governor's inability to honor two earlier invitations. The House leader also speaks to the challenges Nigerians are passing through arising from the cashless policy. That the institution of the legislature here, in this case the House of Representatives, or by extension the National Assembly, and perhaps with the institution of the CB and the central bank itself as an institution, are in every aspect of it components of the Nigerian government itself. CBN governor apologizes for inability to come respond to the parliament's calls before now and restates his respect for the institution. In his presentation, Godwin Emefiele insists the policies in the overriding interest of the nation's economy. He says the 1.4 trillion naira in circulation as of 2015 rose to 3.23 trillion naira by 2022. More than 2.7 trillion naira of this amount, he said, was in people's homes and not the banks, thereby making CBN's monetary policy difficult. We are beginning to see some of the benefits. Like I said, inflation last month somewhat trended, at least it's not rising. It's not stagnating, it's somewhat moderating. And we're thinking and expecting that they will continue to moderate. Exchange rate will still be relatively stable. And what we're even hoping with this exercise, that Naira can even get stronger. He blames deposit money banks for the scarcity of the new Naira nodes and seeks the support of the anti-graft agencies to nip any form of connivance in the board. Godwin Emefiele apologizes to Nigerians for the difficulties being experienced and assures them they will not lose their money even after the deadline set by the Apex Bank. You could have lost its legal tender status, in which case we have moved on, but you have your uh, money that you have not been able to send into the bank. We certainly will give you the opportunity to bring them back into the CBN, to redeem it, either you pay it in your bank account or you want to do exchange. We give you. You will not lose your money. That is the assurance I give to Nigeria. I thank you and your team for, of course, admitting the position of the law. And that is all we expected. And at this point in time, therefore, the ball now falls on our court. We must go around on the street, especially to our constituencies at this very critical period, to let people understand that the law remains sacrosanct. The House of Representatives is certainly not leaving anything to chance. They have demanded that the Apex Bank submits a weekly report of its cash disbursement to commercial banks. The House of Reps also issued a caveat to the CBN that the February 10th deadline should be further extended if the scarcity of the new Naira notes continues. The issue of availability of the new Naira notes, the CBN governor promised to look further and submit a weekly report on releases to the commercial banks. And I want to make that abundantly clear for the sake of the integrity of this uh, institution, uh, that when pundits talk, 
They should be objective. They should do their research. And rather than denigrate an institution that is set out, that is cut out to, for certain responsibilities, they should at least, whatever their partisan position, they should at least respect the position of this institution. The issue of availability of new NARA loads, the CBN is hereby directed, the CBN governor is hereby directed to carefully further examine the current situation, comma, ensure that the new NARA loads are available forthwith. Assuming the, the House uh, agreed to the uh, fourth recommendation to allow the committee to extend its period, uh, part of their own work should be collecting uh, reports of disbursement and utilization. The Ministry of Communication is in trouble and would have to provide answers on how it spent 13.9 billion naira collected from service-wide votes between 2017 and 2021. The Senate Committee on Public Accounts told the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry to provide documentary evidence on how the money was expended. The National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies say state houses of assembly would have to wholeheartedly support the financial and administrative autonomy of local governments to enable the strengthening of grassroots governance. So far, only 15 states have approved the bill. Ten states rejected it. Adamawa and Bayelsa State abstained. Nine more states are yet to pass the bill. The Bill on Local Government Financial Autonomy seeks to abrogate the state joint local government account and provide for a special account into which shall be paid all allocation due to local government council from the federation account and the government of the state and for related matters. Fifteen states have considered and approved the bill, namely Abia, Aqua Ibom, Anambra, Bauchi, Cross River, Delta, Edo, Enobo, Kano, the House Committee on Oil Theft has held an investigative hearing to find a solution to this economic crime that drains the country's oil revenue. All I know, I received a request, and in the normal process, Mr. Chairman and honorable members of this committee, it's my duty, it's my responsibility to check before I act on any duty. If you ask Interpol, the national headquarters, the IPSG, that are we investigating, as I told you, Interpol does not investigate, but NCB do, because NCB is local police. They are just like catalysts, as I told you, between the law enforcement agencies and the Interpol. Uh, we understand in every country that is a signatory to the Interpol, there is a national central bureau. It is not independent of Interpol. It is an Interpol NCB. That is what it is supposed to be. Uh -huh. so, but you make it seem as if the NCB operates apart from Interpol. That is what we we'll need to clarify. If somebody was invited and was called and said, look, this is not the date anymore, you come in on that date. And it's futuristic. It's a date in the future. Yeah. So why do you declare such a person wanted? So no, I'm not, you don't have to answer that here. Maybe it will help you in your work. Mm. Because we are going to take this one up with DPP. DPP. And future correspondence from them to you, maybe you need to query this also. Because we appreciate your openness.